Hi everyone, my name is Sibel Grey Kantuma. I'm from Greater Sky Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me, okay? Uh, these are the list of softwares which we have covered on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you go down below the description of this video, you'll find a link to that channel. Uh, make sure you visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy, okay? I'm glad to announce to you that we now have an office in Abuja. Uh, for as many of you that are in Abuja, you want to hook up with us, uh, you can just DM me or you can chat me up and then we schedule a time to, to meet, okay? Um, we teach all of this on our Telegram platform. I will give you the software, we'll guide you on how to install it and how to crack it on your system. Amazing, right? Today I'm going to be showing you a very great thing in our Pruta structure. Um, let's jump right into it. Um, now I'm going to take you through this this like this is my general arrangement which I did on AutoCAD environment. Um, before you go into your design in Prota structure, I would advise you always do your general arrangement. You can either sketch it on a piece of paper or you can do it on on AutoCAD environment, any drafting uh, software that you know can make your work easier and faster. Okay. Um, you can see here I named the whole of this beam from here to here okay because this is actually a continuous beam uh, so I name it beam 1 here continuous as well I name it beam 2 here is beam 3 okay so um, let's see here we have 4 uh, we have uh, beam 5 down here um, but uh, you can see we have some beams that are actually similar to uh, another okay just for example like beam 5 here okay this beam and this beam are actually very very similar okay so they are the same they are carrying the same load okay so if you just look at this you can see the panel here and the panel here are the same the panel here and here are also the same so they are carrying the same load because the span here is 3500 okay if you look at uh, the length here is 4000 okay so the same thing with the one that we have along this span here too as well so this beam are actually very very similar or they are the same beam rather okay since they are the same so there is no need for we giving them a different name okay so uh if you check from this my general arrangement i have only 13 beams okay but uh in proto structure if you do your design uh if you don't rename those your beams uh that is why you must do the naming of your beams okay the positioning of your columns the namings of your columns all in uh, maybe in a piece of paper or in uh, a drafting software just like uh, AutoCAD that we have here. Now you can see here I named this base 1, this is base 1, this is column 1, column 1. Okay, so we have column 2 for example like this, this is column 2, this is column 2. Okay, this is base 3, this is base 2. We have three different types of base in this uh, design which I used, okay, in my general uh, arrangement, okay. So, but uh, Prota structure may actually give you this base and this base and give it a different name, even with the fact that uh, it's carry, it's actually uh, it might be the same. Um, but Prota structure will give it a different name. So, in order for you not to have a, a whole lot of uh, design uh, choked up or a whole, um, maybe you have having a lot of uh, design which repeating uh, itself. Okay. Uh, there's no need for you having repeated uh, design okay when you when you know that uh, this beam and this beam is the same so there's no need for you uh, printing all of that okay so um, you can see um, from here I just named all of that okay so I'm going to be designing the whole of this as one beam but it's actually continuous okay so but by the time I print this now you can see this is F beam one. If we come back here to our detail uh, drawing, you can see I use the detail drawing that uh, I got from the Prota structure. But uh, this I did detailing using AutoCAD. But uh, the detail drawing here is from Prota structure. Okay, this is your ability to understand how to manipulate these softwares. Once you understand how to manipulate them, it does not really matter for as long as you know how to use it very well. Uh, to you be able to uh, actually achieve the result or the main aim of you doing uh, that particular design okay so here you can see I named the whole of this although I after printing after bringing it to the AutoCAD environment I just 
with my arrangement if you count the number of beams i have here i just have only 13 okay but ordinarily from brutal structure if you are not careful you will have instead of 13 you will have almost a hundred number of beams okay even more than that okay uh, because it's actually going to give each span a name okay so you can see from protal structure is going to name this uh, one beam one it's going to name this one beam two it's going to name this one beam three one beam four okay uh, that's the one is actually the story it's telling you that it's story one beam one story one beam two story one beam three like that okay so I, I don't want that okay so I'm naming the whole of this beam uh, beam one the whole of this beam to be my beam two uh, because every software has its limitation but your ability to manipulate the software it will be able to give you uh, what you are actually looking for okay so uh, let's jump right into uh, the protest structure itself I believe you understand all that I have explained you can see this beam too as well I have been four here here is also been four you can see it's actually similar carrying the same uh, loadings on two side okay all right now uh, this is the proto structure this is uh, the detailed drawing I did using uh, the proto structure you can see my reinforcement uh, that has been provided and all that okay um, now here you can see here I have one beam one I named this here too as well uh, one beam one okay so uh, for you to actually rename a span it's just uh, it's as easy as you just clicking on that uh, particular beam and then you right click you go to the properties and then you rename it okay so um, let's say for example I have already done all the renaming here but uh, let's say for example okay um, okay you can see here we have from our ga from the autocad environment i think this is one beam five okay good this is one beam five if i take it down here if i come here you can see you know we said this beam and this are similar so it's the same so this is one beam five uh, all i need to do here is just to for example if i want to rename this let's say i really want to rename this to beam six for example uh, i'm going to take it back so all i will do is just to click on it and type six and then i'm going to update it okay and then i i click on close okay but before closing this you can see it has actually changed from five to six okay so i'm going to take it back so it's as easy as that all you need to do is just to actually rename all your all your beams and rearrange them just exactly as you have done it uh, in your AutoCAD uh, environment it's very 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 easy okay um, by the time you print um, if you if you take it to your detail we have uh, what we call Prota detail okay the sister software to put a structure we have uh, so when you export uh, you're going to have your detail drawing exported you can see this is the exported uh, beam detail drawings which I exported good okay um, here is not arranged so I had to actually rearrange them uh, because uh, the software will also uh, give you your drawing in form of um, sorry let me look for that um, sorry I'm looking for that particular drawing Okay, it's still loading okay good this is it um, I think this is the file I exported from the Pluto structure okay 
uh, make sure you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to this channel is hundred percent free uh, click on the bell icon so as to get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that want to actually have a deeper insight of design okay uh, I just want to quickly show you uh, how the detailed drawing is going to actually look like uh, from the protar structure uh, the one you get got from the protar structure when you export as DXF or DWG you see DWG slash DXF okay so when you export that um, you're going to have okay okay let's look for that Okay, it's still loading. Okay, continue. Okay, good. It's it's actually loading now. Okay, good. Aha, this is what we have here. I just want to quickly show you something. Um, we have covered structural design and detailings, uh, mechanical and electrical service drawings. We have covered road designs. We have covered water designs uh, using some of all of the softwares that you see listed. And then um, we have covered architectural working drawings. Uh, we have covered um, um, and then some other aspect of uh, survey uh softwares okay which we have actually covered okay uh they are very very much available on that channel okay all you need to do is just to go through that link down below the description of this video you can follow me on any of those social media platforms okay uh my username is there okay now you can see this is exactly what you're going to have you can see here i have one beam one i have one beam one one beam one it's because i actually renamed all of that to one beam one along this span okay these two along this span which is uh my beam two okay um it's going to give you for that of story two is going to give you for story one as well you can see this is actually for my story two you can see it's 230 by 300 this is 2b2 which means uh which is my story two um now i don't have uh, uh this story this beam is actually for my roof my roof beam okay that is why you see it's 230 by 300 but this one is actually 230 by 450 which is actually my floor beam okay um so um you can actually separate all of this all you need to do is just to if you understand how to use uh, the autocad tools very well you just use your move if you type in your m uh, enter you move uh, some of them and then you rearrange all of your beams okay as it should be okay you can see this is my one beam one okay um so all i need to do is just to look for my beam two and i put it next uh to that okay okay you can see this is my beam three so i'll look for my beam two and then arrange it uh, right next to that okay and then you can see for my beam 5 all of those beam 5 which i have named beam 5 you are going to have a lot of uh, beam 5 you can see we have one beam 5 here we have another 
in five here if you try to compare the reinforcement let's let's do that quickly let's do that quickly you know like i showed you they are on different uh, positions we have one on the left hand side of the building we have another on the other side okay what i mean is we have some here we have similar beam two that are actually around this place so um instead of having uh, multiple uh same multiple size of uh, beam is the is, is better you just give it a single name and actually use one so this beam and this beam are actually the same okay but uh, they are actually in a different uh, position okay so you need to actually have a good uh, understand all of that okay so you can see here we have 2y16 okay here we have uh, 3y16 so if I zoom this we have 2y16 here we have 3 y16 we have y10 okay at 300 spacing the two here it's actually just a bar mark okay it's starting from one two three four it keeps going that way okay uh, i have explained uh in my detail in my detailing tutorial where i explain how to uh, vividly on each of those structural members okay i explain all the uh, detailing okay i explain i went deeper into explaining all of that okay if you visit my channel you find that uh, tutorial on that okay so i hope you understand this so this is a different this is a beam 5 this is also beam 5 even with the fact that uh, you can see um if you check around you still find another beam 5 because um here if you as you can see we have uh, we have I think up to three different uh, beam five but they are actually the same having the same span only that they are in a different uh, location okay okay so uh, I hope you enjoyed what you have seen um, make sure that you actually stay safe and make sure